what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my mother mother channel it's your girl anastasia you already know we're back from the phone cam because listen i lost my camera i told y'all i was gonna tell y'all how i lost my camera so let me tell y'all so <clears throat> this video thank god for my camera being dead half of the time otherwise i would have no footage from this trip but this video is all the footage that i got off camera so you guys really didn't miss anything because my camera was about to die half the time thank god to those suck ass cannon batteries so in this video basically i am going to my nail appointments it was supposed to be to get ready with me for the miami trip but the whole video consists of me getting my hair done me packing and us going to the airport and then that's when everything else i got on the camera which is gone now so i did get some footage on my phone it was enough for a vlog so i'm just gonna post it might as well so let me tell you guys what happened to my camera so i lost it on day one like i'm so sad so day one it was so crazy like we didn't know what to expect as far as how to get home the uber there was about 30 dollars. the stadium was like 30 minutes away from our airbnb so it was only like 30 dollars. very cheap but to get back it was like 110 to 130 dollars all three days to get back to the airbnb from the stadium so yeah we're not doing that again next time we're gonna get a rental but we didn't know how to get one this time and we're underage so we had to walk at least i would say two or three miles just to um get to a good spot where we can order the uber where they can find us you know so we walked and we were getting tired like it was hot we we're getting tired i had on some sandals my feet were killing me <clears throat> we're both hungry we're getting frustrated so we're walking we're walking and we were like let's take a break and let's sit right here so we stopped at denny's and we sat on the curb and i had my camera in my hand i don't know why i had it in my hand i had a fanny pack that i could have put it in but for some reason i wanted to hold it and i set the camera down i specifically remember setting it in the mulch and not on the curb on the concrete because i thought like you know it would drain the battery so i set it in the mulch and i was trying to order us some food but at the same time katie's trying to order us uber so we're i'm trying to do it both at the same time so that by the time we get the uber we get home we're 30 minutes away we can have some food to eat when we get there so that's what i'm thinking that's why i'm trying to order the food he's trying to order the uber so he gets frustrated and he gets up and walks off as i'm still trying to figure out how to order us some food so he walks off we're in miami i don't want to be by myself so i got up and caught up to him like he was already kind of far away like so i had to catch up to him and i forgot the damn camera i left the damn camera but i didn't realize i thought I was so tired, like I fell asleep in the Uber and everything. Like I was so exhausted. I did like, I wasn't even thinking right. So we get in the Uber, I fall asleep. He's like, how did you do that? So I'm thinking, so I was so tired in the Uber. I'm thinking I fell asleep and I left it in there. But then I got to thinking and thinking and thinking, but it was right before I was gonna go to sleep. I'm thinking and thinking and thinking like, what happened to my camera like i couldn't have been that tired i know i didn't leave it in the uber so i'm thinking and i'm like damn i set it down when we sat down the reason why i set it down is because i thought we were gonna sit there for a little minute because we were tired like my, our feet were hurting but he got up and stormed off and i went after him and i left the camera and that's what happened so somebody picked it up we went back then look like three hours later we should have known it wasn't going to be there but it was worth a try i didn't get katie's reaction getting first time on the plane i'm so sad but the way i was thinking about it was we got to experience those moments in real life we're forever gonna have those memories whether you guys got to see it or not we still went through it so i was not stressing about it so much but yeah this is the footage that i got so right here is where the video started i hope you guys enjoy whatever i have for you guys so yeah don't forget to subscribe and follow all of my social medias linked in the description box below and enjoy the video before you start watching the video i forgot to tell you guys i will be filming the aftermath the aftermath video like every like how to prepare for rolling loud how it went what to expect and that, those types of things so be on the lookout for that video when we laugh, i don't know what to say we had to play bars hey 
Hey guys, so today is July 16th, the first day of the vlog. All right, y'all, so for this vlog, um, it's gonna be for my channel. And then on our channel, our channel, make sure y'all go subscribe to us. It's linked in the description, like literally probably the first thing you see in the description. Go subscribe to us, and that is gonna be our Rolling Loud vlog. Like, the actual trip. But this one is gonna be prepare with us. So today we about to go to the mall, get a little bit of shopping done, and then... Should we go to Walmart first? What we gotta get from Walmart? Pillows, the little deodorants. So we can't take that stuff on the plane, the big ones, right? Mm -hmm. We can't? No, you can't. And we gonna have carry-on, like, we not gonna have stuff to put under the plane, so. But yeah, so I guess we're gonna go to Walmart first, and then we're gonna go to the mall in Oak Brook to go shop and shop. Okay, so we made it to Walmart. All right, come on. I don't even know why I'm wearing sunglasses. There ain't no sun out here. My eyeballs are burning. Okay, so what we need to get is this stuff for the airplane, like these little bitty old deodorants, lotion. I need that lotion. I want that one. Yeah, because we can't take a big one. Airplane pillow. I do not see that. They don't even have no airplane pillows up in here. We're going to look somewhere else, I guess. We're going to have to, but we just got like the little lotions and that stuff that you seen, y'all seen us grab. Now we're about to go to the mall and go shopping. So the mall that we're going to is called Oak Brick Center. How far is it? Like an hour? I think it's an hour away. Yeah, it's an hour and 13 minutes away. It's so big, if y'all can see that. But this is our favorite mall now. Like, if you live in the Chicago area and you don't know about this mall, please go visit it. Let's go. keep linking up instead of putting the chapstick on. Anyways, y'all, we made it to the mall. We're going up to what floor? The, the, the third floor. Fourth. Oh, the fourth floor. It's a, it's a nice little outside mall. It's beautiful. It's kind of chilly today. At least it's not burning up high. I really need some chapstick. Let me try to dig for some. Okay, so in this part, I went shopping, and this is where I started recording for my camera. So, Katie was recording me going around the store shopping, and that's on the camera. And then the next day, I went and got my hair done at 12 p.m., also recorded on the camera. But now, where we're picking up from is after I got my hair done. So, hey you guys, I'm on my phone because my camera about to die, and I need to charge it. But I got my hair done, as y'all saw. And I went to go pick up my outfit. It's this. Hopefully it fits right. Let me show y'all. So it's these shorts. And then just a bikini top to go with it. And yeah, that's the second outfit. So I'm about to go get the third outfit. Then go get my nails done. And I mean, no. Then go get some food because I'm fucking starving. Then go get my nails done and then hopefully I will be done. I think I'm done after that. I just got to go get my toes done in the morning and then stop at Target. Yeah, because I need a, um, what is it called? A portable charger because I don't want my phone to die while I'm at the festival. So yeah, let me go pick up this other outfit and then I'll show you guys and then yeah. Can I get a combo one? I just ain't gonna sweet car rice and mango chick uh yeah, mango chicken. So y'all I got some Kobe's back here. Wait, wait. Oh it's not Kobe's, it's Thai Kitchen. And then I got some mango chicken and root beer, my favorite, and then I went into Spencer's and got I got these nipple covers. I got these ones. These were the plainest ones I can find because the other ones were a little too explicit that I didn't want. But that saved me a trip to Target because I was going to go there and get nipple covers. But I probably still have to go there to get um, a portable charger. 
but then again i probably can just go to walmart and find one i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do anyways i'm gonna eat my food and then go get my nails done unfortunately but um right now it is currently 11 30 on wednesday when was the last time i talked to y'all i don't even remember like i went to the nail shop was that the last thing i think it was the last thing but anyways after i went to the nail shop i was trying to figure out what shoes i should wear with my outfits i don't even know if i showed you guys all of my outfits but i got i just went to go get this simple little outfit I just want to go get this little simple outfit from the beauty supply store probably to wear like to the airport or something like that but for rolling loud i think i showed y'all this outfit already um i got this from akira i said that already but anyways this cute top and i had to go get some um nipple covers like i told y'all i said that i was gonna go to target to get them but I was at the mall and I'm like, let me go up in Spencer's and see, do they got some nipple covers? So went up in Spencer's and they, sure enough, they had some nipple covers. These are the ones that I got. I think I showed you already too. Like, I feel like I'm having deja vu. Like, let me stop. I started packing a little bit. I didn't even finish showing y'all my outfits. Come on, get it together, get it together. So I got this outfit, showed y'all that, and then I got this, this um, bikini top, and it went with these matching, where are the matching bottoms at? Bro, I don't know what the, where the matching bottoms went, but wait, are they in here? I don't know where they're at, but they're basically the same thing, but they're pants. And my mom was like, why would you wear pants set to Miami anyway? It's too hot. So I just went to go grab these white biker shorts because this was the fastest thing that I could find that would match with it. So this is going to be so cute still, even though I'm not wearing the matching outfit with it. And then I got another bikini um these bikinis are kind of small like i'm gonna have to tie them real tight and be real careful otherwise i'm gonna have like a little nip slip or something and that won't be good but and i just got this set these shorts with the bikini so after i went to get my nails done i oh that's when i was trying to figure out what shoes i was gonna wear and i still don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear. Like I probably will have to get up tomorrow and go find something. That's what I was planning to do, like go to shoe carnival or something. Cause I don't wanna, I didn't wanna wear any new shoes cause I didn't wanna mess them up, but I probably might have to cause I don't have no good shoes that will match. And I didn't wanna wear my toes out either cause they're gonna get dirty. But 
I don't know. I probably might have to. I don't know. We're going to go see tomorrow. I'm going to go to Shoe Carnival and we're going to see what I can find that will go with these outfits. So we have one suitcase right now. It's kind of big. Let me see if I can show y'all. Bring y'all down a little bit without having the camera fall down. We originally had two suitcases. We got this big pink one. I don't know if I showed y'all yet. But I'm gonna show I'm gonna take like insert a clip of it because I don't feel like picking it up and showing y'all right now. But we got this big pink one, and then we have a black one over here that I also don't feel like picking up, but the black one is smaller, so I'm like because like I got these small little outfits that I can like roll right up, so I'm like, we might as well just take this one big suitcase. We can fit all of our stuff in it, and we can. He didn't think we could, but we can't because I'm like we're not gonna pay for two check-in bags and we can fit everything in one and fit some more stuff in our carry-on bag so i convinced them to just let us take one so because he was gonna be paying for it not me because i told you we can fit everything in one so um yeah we just got this one big suitcase Katie already started putting some of his stuff in here, like all his clothes. Well, not all of them, but the stuff that he's going to bring are in here. He got some underwear, some brand new underwear over here. And then over here is where I'm going to put my clothes because I can like fold them right up. And then... I want y'all to look at me while I'm talking, but I don't want to just keep talking and my head's cut out. But I did go wash some new underwear, like all of the underwear that I'm going to wear. I just wanted everything to be clean. So they're in the washer right now. I probably got to go put them in a dryer right about now, but I'm scared to go down there because the basement is creepy. But um, on this side, let me move the camera back a little bit. So on this side, we have some like little stuff. Wristband, but well, where's my wristband? At? I think it's in here. Let me put it in here so it doesn't get lost. But in here, he just has his shoes that he's gonna bring in here, and I'm gonna fit my shoes like right over here. And back here, there's some space behind the shoes because more than likely, I'm gonna bring like small shoes, like not tennis shoes, not sneakers. So that's gonna go under there, and then you can zip it up. And then on top, there's another big zipper right here with all of our toiletries and stuff. So we got our wristbands, we got deodorant, lotion, soap, all travel size shit. We got some, um, what is this? He put this in here. Oh, it's spray. His snuggles. I got my sunglasses. These are the ones that I'm bringing. These came in a two pack. I'll link them in the description if you guys want. But I got those sunglasses. I got a little bit of jewelry. Some soap. Here's my wristband. Let me put that in here. But yeah, basically that's all we have in there. Alright, so I got some soap in here already. Now I'm going to put some smell good. I'm going to bring... I'm really... I'm really debating on which one I should bring because last time I brought some perfume, they made me throw it away and it was some warm and cozy, my favorite. But this this bag is going under the plane, so I might be able to bring, you know, like this much perfume. So, yeah, let me, no, I'm so scared. Like, I'm contemplating which one I should bring. I think this should be fine, but I really don't want to throw this this one away because it's seasonal. It's the winter season and it smells so good so i don't know which smell that i want to bring i don't want to throw none of my babies away so i'm gonna bring some gel because i got my hair slicked down i'm gonna put that over here i got some lashes i'm gonna put these let me show you got me some of these I got a water bottle. I need to wash this out before I put it in the um, suitcase. 
And then I, I'm gonna bring this, we're gonna bring clear fanny packs, but let me get this stuff out of it first, cause I don't need it. So this is my fanny pack, I'm gonna put this in here. This can probably fit in here. My carry-on bag I will be putting all my um underwear and stuff in here and stuff like that and probably KD's too because I don't know well he has his underwear in here but we still need like socks and pajamas and yada 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 whatever whatever so I'm gonna finish putting this stuff in here I didn't even bother to try to fold it but I did try actually but it's not good enough it will fit like this it's fine Literally, everything's going to fit. Perfect. And then another thing that I like about this, it's not mine, actually. So don't be thinking it's mine because it's not. My mom just let us borrow it. But another thing that I like about this suitcase is that it has this little zipper around it. So wait, let me try. And unzip it. You unzip it around here. Y'all probably know what this does, but I didn't know this, so it kind of like surprised me. Like, why? But it kind of gives it a little more elevation in the room. It would be like this instead of being zipped up like that. It would be like this, like more space, you know? So that was cool about this. I'm not gonna zip it up yet because I'm done. But I do need to use this pillow. Okay. Because I don't need it down. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I did get an airplane pillow because I needed one. And then for makeup, I really don't know if I should wear any, but like I'll be doing like this light look with no foundation with like just concealer and like just a small little beat. And I kind of want to do that because I want to look cute. But I don't need everything in here. I just need like a couple things. So maybe I can like clean it out and compress it down into like compress it smaller, you know, so that it will fit in the bag. So I'm just going to clean this out and put it in there. Hey, y'all. I got to edit that out. Cause... Mine, huh? <laughs> yeah. Shout out to KC, man. But um, right now we just about to be on our way to the airport. Um, you got anything to say? Actually, y'all, this is his first time on a plane. So what you got to say about that? <laughs> no, we're going to see how he reacts. We're going to see how we react when we get on the plane. Nervous, that's it. It's not even that bad. Like, y'all, I've been flying by myself since I was like 12 years old. How I got on, but how I get off. But anyways, y'all, move these feet. Hey, I just got my shit done. So but um, we're going to see y'all at the airport, and we're going to take y'all with us on this trip. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Period. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up No, you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, man, I keep skate hung Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout I don't even know what that's about Watch your mouth Maybe got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell the shit it is what it is Said what I had to and did what I did Never turn my back on every cheek, God forbid Heard you got the paddock on my wrist Doing front flips Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit Working on the weekend like usual 
Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit your block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush It's cool, man Got red bottles on Life is good <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed whatever I got for you guys. I try to put it together very nicely. Um, the end of the video was the snap cam, like everything I got on Snapchat, all the Snapchat footage that I got. And yeah, subscribe, follow my social media, subscribe to me and Katie's channel, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.